We don't need to expand. I don't understand the thinking that just because some other conference has 16 teams that we need to have 16 teams. I don't think we need to do what the other successful conferences are doing. I think we should do what the uh, train wreck conference is doing. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Pac-12. Now, first of all, the Pac-12 should be going out of its way to do anything it can to make its league more interesting. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a long time. I talk college football year-round with people coast to coast. There are not very many college football fans, even die-hard college football fans, who give two hoots or a country holler about Pac-12 football outside of maybe a couple of games a year. Yes, part of the problem is that the games, at least some of them, tend to come on really late. I, I get that. But I'm just telling you, if you were to rank the conferences in terms of fan interest, in other words, if you surveyed 100 random college football fans from coast to coast and asked them to rank the conferences in order from most interesting to least interesting, 90 of those 100 fans are going to rank the Pac-12 as the least interesting. They should be doing anything they can to re remain or, or, or become relevant in modern college football. That aside for a second, though, what's wrong with looking around the landscape of college football if you're the Pac-12 and going, you know, you know who's successful right now? The SEC, the ACC, and the Big Ten. They seem to be pretty successful. You know, everybody knows the SEC is the best conference and they just expanded. The ACC's got Clemson. They've won a couple of national titles. They've also got Florida State, who, you know, even though they're down right now, they're not going to stay down forever. Uh, Miami uh, may even matter again at some point in the future. You've got Notre Dame halfway in. Look at the Big Ten, Ohio State, a playoff caliber type team every single year. Wisconsin, 10-plus wins every single year. Penn State, Michigan, rivalries. Uh, you know, anyway, what's wrong if you're the Pac-12? Let me ask you, let me put it to you this way. If you're the Pac-12 and you hear, you're sitting around, you're watching, you're hearing all this stuff that's going on with the Big 12, right? Texas and Oklahoma are, are, are abandoning ship. Uh, it, it's, the Big 12 is going to implode on itself. The SEC is expanding. The ACC and the Big Ten are in pretty good shape. If you're the Pac-12 and you're looking around at that and you go, okay, which of those four conferences do we want to try to uh, model ourselves after? Wouldn't you pick the, the one, at least one of the three successful conferences? Wouldn't you look at the SEC, the ACC, or the Big Ten and go, maybe we should do what they're doing? Nope, not the Pac-12. They're looking at the Big 12. The, the Pac-12 right now is doing the exact same thing that the Big 12 did seven, eight, nine years ago when they lost uh, Texas A&M and Missouri, the, the, the last round of uh, realignment or expansion or whatever you want to call it. If you remember, the Big 12 went on this whole PR campaign about how, oh, yeah, we don't care. These other conferences can have as many teams as they want. They can do these divisions if they want to. They can play these conference championship games if they want to. We're not going to do that. We're going to stick with 10 teams. We're not even going to have a conference championship game. We're going to play a true round robin, nine conference games. So every team in our league will play every other team. Blah, 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 blah. Well, they gave up on that harebrained idea a couple of years in and did eventually – have a conference championship game, but they refuse to expand. We don't need to expand. Why should we expand? We don't need to. Ten teams is the right way to go. While all these other conferences were adding teams, well, not most of them, adding teams, making more and more TV money, uh, becoming more and more relevant in modern college football, and the Big 12 was basically treading water. And now look, the Big 12 is basically dead. I'd be shocked if the Big 12 survives to 2025 uh, when te Texas and Oklahoma are supposedly leaving, although I think they're leaving sooner than that. But the Pac-12 commissioner comes out today and goes, I why do we need to expand? Just because somebody else is expanding doesn't mean we have to. I don't even understand that thinking, is what he said. 
Uh, actually, he, he used the word paradigm uh, because he's trying to make you think he's the smartest guy in the room. He goes, I don't understand the paradigm that just because one conference expands, uh, that that means we have to go out and expand. We're perfectly happy with the 12 teams that we have. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, hello, sir. Hey, hey, McFly, can you hear me? If you're watching this video, and I'm pretty sure that you are, uh, look, at what ha look at what's happening in the Big 12 right now. That's going to be you, sir. Uh, that's going to be the Pac-12 in a decade or less if you continue to hold on uh, to, to this, this, this ancient philosophy that treading water in modern college football is the way to go. I don't understand how you can look around and say, let's do what the Big 12 did and see how that works out. Instead of looking at the SEC or the ACC or the Big 10 and going, no, maybe we should do what they're doing since it appears to be working. No, they looked at the conference that drove itself off a bridge and told themselves, that's what we want to be. That's what we want to be. You ever seen a car wreck happen? I'm not talking about being involved in one. You ever seen one happen uh, from, from a little ways away? You can see it coming, can't you? Now, you don't know what's going on. A lot of, you know, driver distracted, whatever. Somebody runs a red light. So it's not, you know, but you, it's like you can see it coming and it's almost like it's happening in slow motion to you, right? As you're witnessing it from a ways away, right? We've been sitting around watching a slow motion car wreck in the Big 12 for 10 years and literally... Right after they drag the dead bodies out of the car, the Pac-12 comes by and does the exact same thing. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's these people trying to, to justify their ridiculous salaries, these, these commissioners, uh, Bowlesby in the Big 12 and Klyavikov or whatever this Russian guy is in the Pac-12 or, or U Ukrainian or uh, Ethiopian, whatever he is, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I don't know if it's them trying to justify their ridiculous salary. You don't always have to come up with some new groundbreaking idea. Um, if you can look around and see what's working... Do that. Just do that. Um, I, I don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't. If, if you run a gas station, right? And the gas station, and there's another gas station right across the street from you. In that gas station, the, the people are lined up uh, around the block every day for gas and to go into the store to buy stuff. And one or two people trickle into your store every day. Okay. Then there's another gas station next door. That gas station is boarded up. Okay. It's half empty. And the stuff that is left in there is looking to get out. And you're, and you're that gas, and you're the other gas station, and you're looking at these two gas stations. Okay. One is booming, one is boarded up and, and, and basically condemned. And you're going, okay, what do I need to do to make my gas station successful? Are you going to do what the ones across the street are doing, where people are lined up around the block year round waiting to get in? Or are you going to do what the one next door to you did? It's on fire. The windows are, are, are smashed out. It's boarded up. It's half empty. The two best uh, products that gas station had to sell are gone, sold out, not never coming back. Who are you going to mimic your business after? I, I don't understand this idiot in the Pac-12. How can you look around at what's going on in the Big 12 and, and then the other three conferences and go, eh, yeah, the SEC, ACC, Big 10, eh, they're okay. We're going to do what the Big 12 did, though. We're not going to expand. In fact, uh, we'll take it a step further. We're, we're looking to partner with the Big 12, not to add them as members, but in some sort of a schedule arrangement. Yeah, well, this is amazing. Yeah, you've already done that. You did that. Hell, you did that with the Big 10. You have a, a quote unquote schedule arrangement with the Big 10. Why do you think Oregon's playing Ohio State? Why do you think Washington's playing Michigan? So, so now you want to do that with the Big 12? Why? Who are you going to schedule from there? Baylor? 
What would he do? How many people are lined up waiting on the amazing uh, 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 Cal Bears versus Baylor Bears? Nobody, not even Smokey Bear wants to see that game. Why are you, you're partnering, you're partnering with someone on hospice. Well, why would you go into business with somebody who is on hospice? The Big 12 is on hospice care. It's just pain management at this point. They're not treating, they're not even treating the symptoms anymore. They're not even trying to fix the Big 12. It's just hospice care. It's just pain management. It's just waiting for the Big 12 to to close its eyes, take its last breath, and go to sleep. But good luck, Pac-12. We'll miss you in 10 years when you're gone.